Hello and welcome back, citizens of Super Earth. Before Helldivers 2 was released on February 8th of 2024, I was very skeptical when I heard that there would be an in-game cash shop. For a little background, I come from the Destiny 2 community and have been putting up with that game for all the highs and lows for many years. So it's safe to say that kinda over live service games at this point in my life. Now to be clear, if a game is free to play, I 100% understand the use of an in-game cash shop where you can buy cosmetic items for real money. Developers of free to play games have to keep the lights on and cosmetics do not inherently give you an advantage or disadvantage. But in Helldivers 2, a $40 game, or 60 if you buy the Super Citizen Edition, there are gameplay altering items locked behind the Premium War Bond, which must be purchased with 1,000 Super Credits. Meaning that for $10, you can skip past the grind of collecting Super Credits in-game to purchase the Premium War Bond. The fact that you can earn this currency in-game does make me feel a little more at ease. Super credits, again, come from missions and the standard war bond, and while they're not given out left and right, after playing for about two hours casually, I had around 400 credits. But the second issue arises when you realize that the premium war bond has weapons and armor that do change gameplay. The three armor sets available aren't just cosmetics as they have different armor speed and stamina regen stats, as well as special perks. The weapons as well are different from what you can acquire in the standard war bond, but it's important to note that they are just modified version of existing weapons already in the standard war bond. And then there is the cash shop where you can buy armor pieces that do have different stats and perks. So at the end of the day, you can use real money to purchase items that have an effect on gameplay. But I have to say that while super credit acquisitions are a little slow, the game does not feel like it's in a pay to win situation. The standard war bond has more than enough items in it and the premium war bond features remixed versions of weapons and some armor with different perks. But you aren't purchasing those items with super credits. You still have to play the game to earn medals to purchase those items. The only way to use real money on a premium war bond is to skip the grind of unlocking it. And while yes, I would prefer if there was no super credit price to start the premium war bond, it doesn't really feel like pay to win to me. But what about the super credit shop? Here you can buy armor sets that do have different stats and perks. But from what I've seen so far, these stats and perks don't seem to be all too different from what you can unlock in the standard war bond. I could be wrong here as I haven't seen a store refresh yet, but it seems like for the most part, these items are mainly cosmetic. Now, of course, Arrowhead Studios could change any aspect of this game by allowing you to purchase War Bond rewards with super credits or weapons in the cash shop. I'm really holding out hope that they don't do this. If they keep the game running the way it does, then I will continue to say that the game is not pay to win, but more pay to skip some of the grind. The original Helldivers did have paid expansions that added new items, so if Helldivers 2 does this, then we definitely need to have this conversation again. But I really don't feel like people who spend real money have an unfair advantage, especially because this game features no PvP. Let me know what you think about the super credit situation in the game, and if you feel like we really do have a pay to win situation on our hands. If you like my content, hey, why not subscribe for more? It's free. And as always, go spread democracy.